It's a Minimalist Monday edition of Optimal Living Daily, episode 2435, 10 Things You Can Do Today to Live More Like a Minimalist by Joshua Becker of becomingminimalist.com. And I'm Justin Mollick. Happy Monday and welcome to the old podcast, the OLD podcast, Optimal Living Daily, where I read to you like a big ongoing audiobook from many different authors. And we're gonna get right to it as we optimize your life. 10 Things You Can Do Today to Live More Like a Minimalist by Joshua Becker of becomingminimalist.com. Minimalism is the intentional promotion of the things we most value and the removal of anything that distracts us from it. It is about focus, intentionality, and making the most of the one life we have been given. It is also a growing movement around the world. But there are many who still misinterpret the term They think it is about barren walls, cold environments, or empty cupboards, but they are incorrect. Minimalism isn't about owning less than you need, it's about owning exactly what you need. Correctly applied, minimalism results in more money, more time, more focus, and less stress. It also results in a life of greater joy, greater meaning, and greater significance. If you're drawn to the benefits of minimalism but still apprehensive, here are 10 things you can do today to test out the lifestyle and live more like a minimalist. 10 things you can do today to live more like a minimalist. Number one, remove one box of clutter from your home. Minimalists own fewer possessions. As a result, their homes feel more peaceful, more calm, more spacious, and less stressful. You may not be able to declutter your entire home in one day, it took us nine months, but you can make a little bit of progress. Try to remove one entire box of clutter from one room in your home, and then notice the difference it makes. Number two, clear one surface. Every physical possession in our field of vision results in visual clutter. Our eyes naturally gravitate to the things around us as we subconsciously scan our surroundings on a constant basis. Find one surface in your home that you can clear entirely, a bathroom counter, a coffee table, a shelf, or a nightstand, and remove everything from it. Notice the clear surface. Now imagine that feeling throughout your entire home. Number three, don't buy anything and put $49 into savings. The average American spends almost $18,000 a year on non-essentials. If you want to take one small step toward living more like a minimalist today, don't buy a single non-essential item. Then put that $49 into a savings account. Tomorrow, do the same thing. You'll be surprised how quickly your savings account will fill up when you stop buying stuff you don't need. Number four, go for a long walk. Walking is good for the soul and the body. It provides opportunity to think and reflect on life. If you wanna live more like a minimalist, go for a nice long walk today. Notice how wonderful it feels to have some extra time in your day to breathe and relax. And while you walk, consider the direction of your life and if you're living to your fullest potential. Would removing some distractions allow you to focus more on things that matter? Number five, turn off the notifications on your phone. Minimalists work to remove distractions from their day whether it be unnecessary possessions, unnecessary appointments, or unnecessary notifications like email or social media, or even texts. For the rest of the day, turn off all notifications on your phone except for phone calls, even text messaging. See how it changes the feel of your entire day. Tomorrow morning, turn on just the notifications you actually missed. Number six, eliminate one obligation. Minimalism extends beyond physical possessions. It sparks intentionality in all areas, relationships, habits, and your schedule. Today, eliminate one obligation from your life that you do not enjoy or does not further your greatest passions and pursuits. Make the phone call, send the email, cancel the reservation, whatever you need to do. Reclaim your time to live the life you desire to live. Number seven, Make up one game with your kids. Studies show us over and over again that fewer toys are beneficial to our children. 
Advertisements may tell us the newest toy will result in a better childhood for your kids, but that's simply not true. Fewer toys consistently provide opportunity for deeper play and imagination to develop in your family. So grab a few toys and make up a new game, such as an obstacle course with your kids tonight. You'll see the value of less and have a great time too. Number eight, wear your favorite outfit. It's true, most minimalists own fewer clothes than other people, but not because owning fewer clothes is a sacrifice, just the opposite, in fact. Owning fewer clothes means everything hanging in my closet is my favorite. There's nothing I'd rather wear than my favorite outfit every day. Today, wear your favorite outfit. Notice what you like about it, and then imagine a world where you get to wear that every day. Number nine, turn off your television one hour earlier than normal. Because minimalists have embraced a more intentional approach to life, they remove unhealthy habits. For me, removing television was one of the most important. And while I still sit down to watch sports with my son or an occasional series on Netflix, television is no longer a focal point of my life. It no longer robs me of life and potential. Tonight, turn off the television one hour earlier than normal. Use the free time to talk with your spouse, write in a journal, go for that walk, or go to bed an hour earlier. Almost anything you choose will be more worthwhile. And number 10, do one thing you love. The greatest thing about minimalism is that it frees money, time, and energy for your greatest passions. This is the greatest benefit, a life lived focused on the pursuits that result in true happiness, joy, meaning, and fulfillment. So today, do one thing you love. And then imagine yourself doing more of that every single day from here on out. You'll get a small picture of why people continue to flock to the message of minimalism. Minimalism isn't about living a boring life detached from reality. It is about rejecting society's version of reality and living a focused, intentional life on your own terms. Try out just one or two of these small steps today and begin experiencing what the rest of your life can look like. You'll love minimalism, and you'll love owning less. You just listened to the post titled 10 Things You Can Do Today to Live More Like a Minimalist by Joshua Becker of becomingminimalist.com. Thank you to Joshua. That little data point he shared in number three was pretty eye-opening for me. According to USA Today, $18,000 is what the average American spends per year on non-essentials. And that comes to the $49 per day that he was talking about. That's what could be invested daily. And then with, let's say, 7% growth by investing in something like a total market index fund, that's serious money after just a few years. And I've mentioned it before, but I'll mention it again. If you think you might fall into this bucket of purchasing maybe a bit compulsively or before you really thought deeply about it with non-essentials, I'd highly recommend trying to track your income and expenses for a set period of time, like a week even. And if you're able to do that, then a month would be even better. You can then categorize those expenses as essential or non-essential and really figure out exactly what's coming in and going out on an average week or month. It can really be eye-opening. There are many useful tools these days and some are even free. Mint.com is pretty decent at tracking. Also, YNAB has a free trial, a long trial too. You can get that at oldpodcast.com slash track. That's what I use. Or good old-fashioned pen and paper. No matter which you choose, it can go a long way and completely change the way we think about money and what we really need. So try it out if you can. Have a great rest of your day and start to your week. Thank you for listening every day and optimizing your life with me. And I'll see you tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.